Hello everyone, this is Mad Cat Sphere, and I'm here with a new Psychokinesis Technique. We're going to utilize vibrations of an object. Now this is a toy that I bought at Walmart. It's a Whammo Hover Hockey Puck toy. You can buy for $5.47. And what we're going to do is that we're going to utilize um, the vibrations of this object or turn on and flip it on top of its head. And we're going to let the thing kind of vibrate around a little bit. Now this tutorial is about redirecting an object's motion while it's in motion. We're taking advantage of the vibration of this object as it moves. Now right here, I'm using the TK to push the object away from me. Now how I got to do this was I actually just turn on the object and flip it on top of its head as you see here. And I just observed it moving and vibrating on its own, learning to read the intricacies of its motion. Now here's another example. Right here, the object got stuck near the table and I'm pushing with my TK, pushing it away from me. And that's a real good example of when the object gets stuck, you can still control it and direct it redirect its motion let me pause it here real fast now i want to get into specifics of this now what you have to do is that you have to turn on the object and flip it on top of its head so it can use the vibrations of the motor inside don't use the air because the air on the bottom is going to make it roll around too fast and you're not going to be able to have a control or belief of control develop in you and what you want to do is you want to observe the object kind of vibrating around watch how it stops and wiggles to the left and stops and wiggles to the right and you have to apply a belief that you're developing connection and control over the object now what you want to do is that you want to watch how the object kind of like vibrates it, it kind of vibrates softly to the right and then it stops and then it softly vibrates to the left and then it and stops and then it goes more further to the left now what you want to do is that you want to apply your own belief system that you're connecting and that that motion is coming from you when you start to see it vibrate to the left kind of suggest and persuade it to go to the right now the reason why this works is because if you watch the object closely you know that the object's motion becomes slightly kind of predictable a little bit you know that it goes maybe to the right and then it kind of goes to the left a little bit and then it goes down but what actually is happening is that there is no pattern to this object you know the object goes where it wants but what it is is that you're since you've seen it go from left to right apply the belief that you want it to go right and it will because what we want to do is that we want to redirect its path it may be vibrating to the right but then as it goes to the right you want to coax and persuade it to go left because why you've seen it go left so you're applying a belief and a demand of the object that you want it to go right because it is possible and it does become possible because you believe it does and when it does then you're perpetuating the motion of that right motion and it continues to go now here's another little tip that i want to give you guys now now um when you see the object kind of uh, vibrating to the right you want to uh observe the object if you see it vibrating to the right and then it slowly starts to rotate and vibrate to the left perpetuate the motion of it going left when you perpetuate that motion of it going left and you push and push and you believe that it can control it and push it down that direction be one-minded narrow-minded you want to go left left and it will so whatever motion it does perpetuate the motion in which is going and it will what you're doing there is that you're redirecting the object's motion utilizing the motion that the object creates if it's vibrating to the left and then it slightly subtly moves to the right then push as soon as you see it go right push it push it push it push it to go right pull it toward your belief that be narrow minded like i said you're redirecting its direction in which it's vibrating in motion and you have to believe because this is how psychokinesis works this is the fundamental theory and philosophy of psychokinesis you have to just believe everything you know um don't, don't be uh pulled down or have doubt about coincidences or um or that you know it's just a foolish little toy that's just going anywhere and everywhere you have to break through that and 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 you'll be able to have true control of the object you will surprise yourself you have to just believe that you have control now what i'm doing here is i'm trying to help you guys out by utilizing different type of techniques that have not been realized or been found out so I'm trying to utilize every little thing to help us create belief and confidence that we can control objects because I believe that this little toy, Hover Hockey Puck toy at Walmart, can lead to uh, floating upright cups or uh, vibrating upright cups or sliding things all over the place or rolling cans. 
You have to start somewhere and really the power isn't the object, it's you. The belief in you builds up. That's what matters. Rick says, but it is. Thank you guys for watching.